Welcome to Wisdom from the Word. Bible Fellowship Church is a family of believers who want to help others discover and strengthen their relationship with Jesus Christ. And we're praying this message helps you strengthen your walk with Him. Now let's dive in. Well, welcome to Wisdom from the Word. This is a series uh, yeah, that we're calling Wisdom from the Word. Each week we try to bring out some of that wisdom to help us with our lives, usually focusing on the part of the Bible called wisdom literature. We often look at Proverbs, uh, but today we're going to start in Job. There are times when we just do not know what is going on. Uh, we need some wisdom. Job, for some very good reasons, uh, felt that way as he suffered through the loss of his business enterprises, all of his children, which of course is devastating, and then just to rub it in, he lost his health. And even today, I, I found it's not uncommon for people to have multiple problems at the same time. In fact, just this week we got a, a letter from someone, and uh, just uh, a mother or uh, one of the parents is sick, and a husband has uh, cancer, and and so we 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 still face the same issues. Uh, maybe not quite to the degree of Job, but we certainly certainly face these issues. And in Job chapter 28, uh, verses 12 through 15, a perplexed Job asks this question. Verse 12, But where shall wisdom be found? Where is the place of understanding? Man does not know its price, neither is it found in the land of the living. The deep says, it isn't in me. The sea says, it's not in me. It cannot be gotten for gold, and neither shall silver be weighed for its price. And then Job goes on and he gives some other examples of pearls and other ways to, and, and none of those get wisdom. Uh, in verses 20 and, one, 20 and 21, whence comes wisdom? Where is the place of understanding? Seeing it's hidden from the eyes of all living and kept close from the birds of the sky. But he does have an answer. We see that in 20, verse 23. God understands its way. He knows its place. And then he concludes uh, the, the chapter 28, the last verse. To man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, is, that is wisdom. To depart from evil is understanding. We need to learn reverence for the Lord. The main place we learn this is from his word to us. We show our fear of him, our reverence to him, by obeying what he tells us. And the place where we find that is the Bible. This is where we learn how he created the world. We see how he dealt with people who had the same problems we are facing uh, and dealing with evil and heartache in the world and even our own sin. We see changed lives. We see how Jesus came to save us from the power of evil and its consequences. At our elders meetings, we, uh, we have a time of prayer where we pick a verse to pray over the uh, Bible Fellowship Church family. Uh, the one that I felt I needed to use at our last meeting was in Psalm 119, verses 47 and 48. Those who uh, know your Bibles know that this Psalm 119 is one that focuses on knowing and applying the Word of God. Uh, it's not a coincidence that it's the longest chapter in the Bible, uh, and it's in the center of the Bible. And in verses 47 and 48, we read, I will delight myself in your commandments because I love them. I reach out my hands for your commandments, which I love. I will meditate on your statutes. May this be true of our lives and let us be praying that it will, that we will have this love for his words and his commandments and we will get the wisdom that we need for our daily lives as we face multiple problems at times. All right, let's pray now. Our Father in heaven, we need your wisdom. We live in 
complex times. We have uh, confusing new technology around us, and we have the just old-fashioned uh, problems, people problems to deal with. And we just have the problem of evil. There's so much hurt. There's so much wars and, and displaced peoples and and droughts going on and just so many problems and disease. But Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that we will love your words and we will then get this wisdom that you can reveal to us and only you can reveal to us. So Father, we just pray for your spirit to work in our lives so that we will just have this love for your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us for Wisdom in the Word. If you're looking for additional resources to help strengthen your walk with Jesus Christ, visit bfcsebring.com or download our mobile app.